What's up everyone, it's Baron here. Before we get into it, don't forget I have a discount code for the Toby5 Eye Tracker which is down in the description with a link. We also have an organization for Star Citizen which is in the description. We also have a referral code for Star Citizen. So if you're not joining the community, go down, use my referral code and help me out. But for anything else, check the description, watch this video to the end. So we're going to be going over fleets and based based around people's professions and your profession. So obviously there's a lot of professions in game and different things that you can do. A lot of them you can't do just yet, but we'll get to them. So as you can see, I've sort of broken ships up and I started moving small fighters over here when I realized there's a lot of small fighters there. There's a lot of small ships. And I'm just gonna basically go over what you guys can do in the game as of recently, because we know that there's a lot of professions in the game we know that there's a lot to be added to the game, which it's always a given with Star Citizen because it's so, it's ever growing and it's always changing. So pretty much we're just going to go over what you can do and think about your choices later on down the track because surely you will be thinking about this later on. Well, that was freaking out. You will be thinking about this later on and pretty much I want to give you some fuel for thought because I've been basing a lot of these videos on fleets, uh, ships, obviously I'm doing a lot of ship content. Um, so before we get in, we just want to take the time to think about what we are going to be doing in the game, what roles we're going to be doing, uh, pretty much just stuff like that because it's really important to have your fleet organized. I mean, it might always change, mine always changes because I like sh uh, ships, okay? And I like how I'm going to be sorting my fleet. So over here, we sort of have like a multi-role sort of based fleet. It's not like what you would call heavily multi-role because we know the Endeavor is going to have a lot of different modules. We know that Retaliator Base is probably the Retaliator Bomber. Wow, that was actually a complete guess. But we know the Retaliator Base is going to have a lot of different modules. It's going to have, um, so you can do cargo hauling in it. It's going to have a, like a, where you can carry uh, troops around and whatnot and a few others you've got the triage you've got the medivac and you've got the cardi red which are also medical ships medivac is also obviously a lot more combat ready than the triage it's just got different missiles on it well it has missiles on it, which the triage doesn't <coughs> over here you got the freelance variants you got the valkyrie down here which is like obviously like a drop ship which you will be getting a module for that in a retaliated base you got the redeemer which is also another drop ship but a uh, small fighter i'd call it like an ac-130 of the skies here you got the constellation series you got the msr and you got the corsair which are like small exp exploration slash cargo hauling ships where they have multi-rolled tasks they can do different things again like i said a lot of these ships aren't intended to have multi-rolls but i make my fleets like that because obviously there's you look at a ship and you can think of more than one thing to do with them so with my profession i'm going to have the endeavor i'm going to have the reclaimer i'm going to have the crucible and then i'm going to have the merchantman so i can sell my items so obviously you got cargo haulers over here you've got a gaddick railing as well which is also a great price for the amount of cargo that it can hold being an alien craft which is going to be fantastic so i would definitely look at getting one of those i did have one i gotta get it back over here you got small fighters well uh, you got a heavy fighter, you got these fighters, you got the sentinel, so these are like interdictors, they can, uh, one can EMP people and the other can rip them out of quantum, there's a few ships that do this, but I didn't get them all in the one place, obviously you got the Idris P, Idris M, Nautilus, Polaris, Perseus, and Kraken, Javelin obviously being the biggest ship that you can purchase with real money, so we know that when someone bases their fleet around a profession that there's always going to be some overheads with it so say you have an, an orion okay you need a hull d or you need a hull e right because you're going to need to haul all that cargo to a station and sell it but pretty much what we're going to be talking about with that is that when you put an orion in the sky you might need a palash you might need a perseus you might need a nautilus you might need an idris you're going to need a lot of ships to um, escort that around and make sure it gets out okay you might have a couple of these up in the asteroid fields which is completely understandable because you want to try and generate as much money as you can down here i've put the 600 eyes together i mean again these are great combat ships they're also multi-role luxury ships to be able to transport people like the starliner genesis where you can actually transport people in that in a luxury or sort of like a a cost effective way of transport but then you got a lot of more a lot more small fighters down here now obviously 
some of these you can't purchase but a lot of these are good some of these are bad but again you're going to need something like this in your fleet if you are looking at um, changing your fleet or you're looking at something for a bit of protection like I got the iron and the inferno so that when I put out the endeavor I can bring out one of these with me or the redeemer again I have the Polaris I will begin the Perseus and the Nautilus they will again be protection for other ships they'll also be used as a contracting ship so with your professions say you're a cargo hauler you're going to need something to obviously um, escort you you're going to need some protection you're going to need something like that if you don't have to but it's always going to be something in the back of your mind as you can be pirated and killed and harmed in a lot of ways that's when you can just go to the merchman and use the cannons on those because those things are going to be absolutely insane you got those four massive cannons at the front which is going to give you something to think about um, again if you have something like the crucible out you're going to have those sort of ships around anyway because you're a good chance you're going to be protecting you're going to be repairing little fighters and then you're going to be repairing idrises polarises so you've got that protection there already sort of as with a medivac you're going to have that protection there but you just want to have that extra bit of attention so if you're doing refueling rearming repairing you got a drone uh you got the crucible you got the star line uh, the sorry the staff era you can then use these ships to go and repair and refuel rearm people again you might have that protection there so that's going to be all sorted within your profession you might have already put a few ships up in there so i want to know down in the comments what you've done for your profession go to our discord server as well let us know there because a lot of these ships are obviously going to have a lot of multi roles now I obviously haven't sorted it to the best of the multi rolls because you look at a fleet, you look at a ship, and you're going to think, okay, that's going to have a lot of intended users and a lot of users that I can sort of just make up as I go, which is a big thing right now. So don't forget about that. But I hope this sort of helped you think about what you're going to do with your fleet, how you're going to construct it, and whether or not you're going to have like a Perseus, Polaris, Nautilus to help you protect something like an Orion, a hull ship, uh, any sort of cargo, maybe even a Pioneer when you're burning a base. It's all up to you. Or the Reclaimer while you're salvaging or the Vulture, as the Vulture is quite small, but then you've got the, uh, the Reclaimer, which is a very, very large um, vessel. So think about what I've said here. Take it with a grain of salt, but it's always going to be good to have that. You've also got the Kraken. That's another great ship. I hope you guys enjoy this. Being Baron, I'll see you in the verse.